Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Lillianfield from Kaplan Center for Integrative Medicine. Today I want to briefly speak with you about arthritis, the functional medicine approach. There are two main categories of arthritis, osteoarthritis, the wear and tear, or autoimmune arthritis, the most common being rheumatoid arthritis, where the body actually produces antibodies that attack the joints, such as psoriatic arthritis, lupus arthritis, Crohn's arthritis, and a few more. There are other types of arthritis, such as gout arthritis, where uric acid crystals precipitate in the joints. And Lyme disease can cause an arthritis, an inflammatory response in the joints as well. But they all have in common a systemic inflammatory process. For example, in osteoarthritis, those that, who are obese, the fat cells actually produce cytokines called adipokines, such as leptin, they actually found that these cytokines are present in the joints of those with osteoarthritis. So obesity, metabolic syndrome, diabetes, inflammatory processes can exacerbate and cause osteoarthritis. In autoimmune arthritis, we think of the link between the digestive system where 75% of our immune system is in our gut, leaky gut, and an autoimmune process. For example, the digestive system is made of one single cell layer. If we have inflammation where the cilia, the little hair-like protrusions in the gut are blunted, we get um, a a nutritional deficiency. If there are gaps between the cells, then large proteins and toxins are absorbed through the digestive tract into the circulatory system. Pieces of bacteria called lipopolysaccharides actually can be absorbed through and precipitate into the joints of those with autoimmune arthritis. So with all the arthritides, Digestion, digestive health, and diet is extremely important. So our approach is to find out how the digestion is working, if it's appropriate, if it's healthy or not. And we work very closely with our dietitian who can uh, prescribe a low inflammation diet. There are some other foods, for example, um, nightshades, such as eggplant, peppers, tomatoes and potatoes that can cause inflammation. We also know that processed foods and sugars and sometimes grains like gluten, dairy, egg, soy, corn can also cause inflammation. So the dietitian is very important to work with someone with arthritis to figure out what the offending food might, might be or the diet might be. So if uh, most conventional doctors will uh, treat arthritis with medications, maybe some physical therapy and surgery, um, what we have to offer is more depth, finding the root cause, maybe not curing it completely with diet and gut health, but we can certainly make things better. So if you or anyone has arthritis and would like a functional medicine approach, please contact us at Kaplan Center for Integrative Medicine. Thank you.